Hello and welcome to Mixology from the Fridge. Today I'm going to show you what kind of bar tools do you need to make uh, drinks at home and uh, how to use it. But most of all, I'm going to show you how to actually substitute the bar tools with the very simple kitchen tools that you've got into your kitchen uh, to make cocktails. Now, you can use my book, Let's Get Tropical. You can find it on Amazon and here is explain how exactly to use bar tools. But anyway, I will uh, explain you just right now. What you need is, you need a blender, but you don't have to have a blender. You can have just something like this Nutribullet at home uh, to make blended drinks. You need a shaker. You can have either this, which is two-piece shaker. You put the ice inside, put that on the top, close it, and then you shake it, bouncing the ice from one side to another, and then you open and you strain. Or you can use this three-piece shaker, which is slightly easier, you open up, put the ice inside with the drink, then you close it on the top, you shake it nicely, and then you open that third piece on the top and you see you've got a little strainer in there, so you can strain straight into your glass. Now, if you don't have all that, you can go very creative and just use this uh, jam jar. Put your ingredients inside, put the ice, close it on the top, and keep the little shake like this, bounce, bounce, bounce to uh, make the drink cold and then you open it up. Now, next thing that you will need is uh, a strainer, bar strainer like this. So once everything is shaken, you can put it on the top like this, hold it like this and strain. But what about if you don't have one? Okay, you don't have a strainer, but you've got the shaker. What you can do, you can put this inside like this to close it so the ice doesn't go through and you can just strain like this. But what about you don't have this either? Now what you can do is you can use this, you shake it and then you put this on the top like that. So you leave just a little gap here open and you strain so you can get the eyes to stay inside. Now what else you will need is you need a fine strainer because sometimes You've got pieces of herbs or things inside that you don't want necessarily to go into your drink. So you need something called fine strainer. So you're using your strainer like this. You put this here and you are straining like this. So the liquid goes through the fine strainer and the bits and pieces stays inside. And this is a clear liquid that goes on the bottom. Now, if you don't have any of this, what you can do is you, you use this like that and then you strain it through the fine strainer and all the bits are going to be out, okay? Now, if you don't have this, you can use just this mesh that you've got in your kitchen and you do exactly the same thing. Okay, so what else we need is we need a measure that is going to measure what liquid goes inside. I would recommend you get one of those ones. This is 25 milliliters, 50 milliliters. And inside you can see this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And this is 5, 10, 20, uh, sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, but if you don't have that, simple. You can use your teaspoon, 5 milliliters, your tablespoon, 15 milliliters. After that, you need a bar knife. If you don't have a bar knife, any knife in your kitchen will do and you need this chopping board you can use it for example there you go you just cut your lime in half then you will need a citrus squeezer what you do with the citrus squeezer you're putting the lime inside there and then you're squeezing in your glass like this okay what about you don't have one of those ones you've got hands you can do it like this if you don't want uh, the seeds to go inside, you can just do it like this through your hands and the seeds are going to stay inside. Pretty simple. Now, what else you might need is, is a muddler because sometimes you might be using some uh, fresh fruits that you want to muddle. You put, for example, some strawberries in there and you muddle like this to extract the juice out. But what about if you don't have one of those ones? Well, you have a rolling pin at home. So you use the rolling pin and you go like this. This is a zester, very simple to use. You've got your uh, 
uh, citrus and you are just getting a zest out like this. Not every kitchen will have that, but you can just simply do this. You've done just exactly the same thing. Then bar spoons. You've got two types of bar spoons. One bar spoon, which is 2.5 milliliters, and this one is 5 milliliters. Regardless of which one you're going to use, you're most likely going to stir it, uh, or you're going to swizzle your drink like this with the spoon. So you can just use uh, a longer uh, teaspoon that you've got at home. And the same thing, you've got, uh, you can measure with this or you can use this uh, to stir around. Okay, another thing is, is a nutmeg grater because we're using nutmeg a lot, a lot uh, in the cocktails. This is a nutmeg grater and you're doing this on the top of your tray. But if you don't have one of those ones, you can simply use cheese grater. And you do this, just as simple as that. You need a glass scoop. Uh, if you don't have one, you can just use this spoon that's got holes in there. So when you're taking the ice to put it inside, uh, you, uh, the water goes down, so you're not adding it into your drink. So you see how simple it is to use bar equipment, and not only bar equipment, but the equipment that you've got into your kitchen to make cocktails. So don't hesitate anymore. Go check out my videos at Mixology from the fridge and start making cocktails and enjoy your life.